what if you can lower the temperature of your laptop from 96 down to 75 degrees celsius good news it's not just a what if you can actually do that this is the v12 lano laptop cooler and this is one of the most powerful laptop coolers you could get let's review this one this laptop cooler is a closed type blower style cooler with 14 cm turbo fan and works well with Windows gaming laptops, especially on 15 to 22 inch laptops. To turn this on, you have to plug this power adapter that also came with this laptop cooler. Yeah, I know, it's weird because most of the users are using laptop coolers that is powered through USB port. But this one is more advanced because it supports 2800 RPM high speed fan and you can manually control this, that's why it's necessary. And it also has a USB hub that contains three additional USB-A port on the right part of the cooler, joined together with a power port and USB-C port to connect your laptop in case you need this additional USB-A hub. With this V12 Blano laptop cooler, you have a memory foam as well, which works as a wall to secure the air intake and direct it to your laptop's cooling system without any air leaks. So it's more efficient because from 300 up to 2800 RPM, whatever manual fan speed you assign to it, all of that will directly go to your backplate without any waste and it will dissipate the heat on your CPU, GPU, all that internal things on your laptop in just a matter of time. To maintain your laptop's position, we also have this two notch over here, which pretty much avoids your laptop slipping down. But the main part here is the controls. We have a power button which you need to hold for two seconds to turn the laptop cooler on. And as you can see, this laptop cooler as well supports RGB lighting. And for that, we have these two buttons here. The one on the left is for switching the lighting mode and it has total of four different modes. And the right one is for switching colors and it has 10 colors in variety. But the most important functionality here is the RPM indicator and this RPM speed dial over here. You can control your laptop's cooler fan speed depending on your desired plan for it. Example, you can go for 300 for idle and change it into 1000 for editing or gaming, or just max it out to 2800 for rated cooling. It really depends on the user and its tolerance to noise. I hate to admit it, but this thing is just insanely loud, especially on higher RPM, and it reaches 75 decibels because as powerful this laptop cooler is, the noise is also quite on the same level because again, this is a advanced laptop cooler, and the main essence for this laptop cooler is to give its core function to cool the system and avoid the built-in fans on your laptop to go in a full blast. So basically, instead of your laptop's cooling system doing the hard work, this laptop cooler will do it for you so that your built-in fans of your laptop will not reach its full max performance to just cool the system and everything. It's also safe from accumulated dust or any kind of debris like hair strands because it has a removable outer case for the fan and you can put the dust filter that came with this V12 Blano laptop cooler you also have the elevation stand here but it's actually better because you can adjust it on a more higher position for better airflow intake so let's try its performance let's do a stress test and check how fast and how low can this vita blano laptop cooler drop the thermos so for this one obviously we are stressing the system on our highest possible settings which is 3840 by 2160 basically that's 4k and with 8x msaa the max temperature that we are getting is 76 degrees celsius and it doesn't really go further anymore so let's turn on the laptop cooler and set it to 2800 rpm and the result that we have here is for one minute and 31 seconds the max stress temperature that we have which is 76 degrees celsius dropped down to 59 degrees celsius so in summary for that 91 seconds since we turned on the laptop cooler we managed to drop the temperature for around 17 degrees Celsius. I tried this as well for multiple times, still the same performance. So as you can see, the results are great and the temperature drops is kind of hard to believe. So one more test that we should do here is the actual gaming test to measure how this Lano laptop cooler would perform on cooling the system while gaming. So for this test, we initially played the game without the laptop cooler on and the game that I chose here is Elden Ring because I think it's one of the most graphic intensive games and this is kind of stupid but as you can see here I've set everything to highest possible setting to stress out the laptop and the RTX is on the ray tracing quality is on high as well so the highest peak performance we're getting is 94 degrees Celsius which is just a spike but it's stable on 88 degrees Celsius 
So now we're gonna turn on this laptop cooler and check how fast and how low can it drop the temperature. And the result that we have here is from peak high of 94 and stable 88 degrees Celsius, it dropped down to 61 peak low and stable on 68 degrees Celsius for 19 seconds. And that's around 20 degrees Celsius in difference. So with all of that, this V12 Lana laptop cooler is surprisingly amazing. For 70 US dollars, you get this performance and it's totally different from most cloud of coolers that doesn't really do anything. Of course, it's kind of a mixed thoughts because this is a powerful laptop cooler and there is some setbacks for sure. So you have to plug it on a power outlet. In exchange for that, you'll get an additional USB-A hub for that sacrifice. And also you can definitely rely on this to really cool your laptop on a highly graphic intensive games. But can you tolerate the noise of the desired RPM you'll set it into? No problems if you have a headphones or what, that's really up to you. And one last thing here is it's best in value and it's definitely worth it. But you need to sacrifice the portability of this laptop cooler because I think it's 20% bulkier than common laptop coolers. So it's kind of a love and hate. But in the end of the day, laptop coolers are not that really portable in the first place. And I think what's more important here is the main function of this laptop cooler. And this does it really well, which is to cool the system. And I think personally, and based on this test and results, it's safe to consider that this V12 Lano laptop cooler is one of the best laptop coolers out there. So if you're interested to this product, I'll put the link in the description. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did like this video and make sure to subscribe, I would appreciate it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Again, Hermes here. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one.